What's good, Gray Gang? We're about to head out there and do a little deer hunting. The one thing that's different today is that we're actually morning hunting. Now, usually, you know, I have to do evening hunting. I can't morning hunt just because, you know, I have school every day. But today, I mean, I, we're going we're gonna to bust it wide open, okay? We're going full force at this thing. But before we head on out there, I got this little box, and we're about to open it. Are you ready to skid it, Gray Gang? Are you ready to skid it? Are we going to kill a deer today? Because I'll tell you right now, I'm ready to kill a deer. Okay, so I'm not even going to try to act like I don't know what's in this box, okay? I know what's in the box, and I'll even be honest with you, I've done opened it. But as for right now, let's just act like I've never saw this before. So, oh my gosh! It's a box! But anyways, let's crack it wide open. Boom! <laughs> it's a rangefinder, baby. Now, I know I'm hunting and everything, but hey, I got teal, you know, keeping it frisky. Just because we're hunting doesn't mean we can have some color fun, okay? Some days I'll be out there in a tree, you know, not seeing anything. I'll look at this teal, boost my morale, just like that. But anyways, it's like a plus five happiness, boys. I ain't kidding about that. This color right here, it's plus five happiness. But anyways, let's get back to this, okay? So what is it? It is a Suaoki... Range finder. Never heard of that brand before? Well, there's it's it's probably because it's a golf range finder, you know. I mean it's not it's not made for hunting. However, I'm 99% sure it will work for hunting. But I mean the cool thing about getting a golf range finder is like, bro, they're accurate. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, you've saw this shirt a few times in my other hunting videos. Like, do y'all like this or do I need to change something? Because I mean I was thinking, you know, I thought about selling this and then I was like, eh. I don't like it as much as I thought I did, so I just never sold it. But if y'all like it, like, hey, I'll sell it if y'all want it. So if you'd like me to start selling these shirts, just go, you know, hit the like button for one. Because, like, that's awesome. That's savage, okay? But if you really want me to start selling these, go tell me, you know, start selling those shirts in the comments. But anyways, Grey Gang, it's getting about that time. We're going to head on out there in the woods. If you want this rangefinder, you know, the link is in the description. And I believe I've even got a promo code for you guys, you know, get some, knock some dollars off of it. But besides that, right now, it is dark. So I'm going to be making my way into the stand in complete darkness, climb a tree in complete darkness and then hopefully as soon as the sun comes up there's a deer and i'll kill him right there that's the plan anyways oh yeah and one more thing i need to tell you guys is last night like um uh well i decided that if i saw a doe i was gonna shoot her so you know hey we might have good chances of killing something you know what i mean but anyways i'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get out there in the woods i'll catch you then okay guys well right now i'm in the stand the sun is barely coming up over there but it's about that time hopefully i can kill something Okay, so, you know, I get up in the tree and everything. I get settled in. And then, like, straight up, 20 minutes after I sit down, here they come, okay? I hear stuff walking through, so I look up, and boom, there they are. We have two does coming in. And that's, I was going to shoot a doe today. My honest plan was to shoot a doe. So, you know, here they came in. Now, this person right here, I mean, she came in real close. She came in range. I had a good shot on her. The only really problem was that, well... She was about the size of a dog, so, you know, I figured to pass on her because she's just a yearling. But there was an older doe behind her, which I'm pretty sure was her mom, but I was going to take her. Here she is. So I was going to take this doe, but as you guys can tell by her body language, she was an old doe. And you could tell she knew what she's doing. She's using her senses. She was a smart doe. She smelled me. She never exactly located me. She never blowed or anything, but you could definitely tell by her body language. She smelled something in the air, and she just didn't feel quite comfortable. So she ended up, you know, just turning around and going back where she came from, which is pretty unfortunate it because you know if she'd came on across the fence and ate in the corn i was gonna pop her right there but i guess that doe lives another day which isn't too bad because as you saw she was a pretty good mother so maybe she'll pop out some more fawns for us so this is the cool part because literally five minutes after those does left two more does came in right behind them but again it was one doe that was about the size of a dog and another mother doe which i mean the one that is the size of a dog she actually did come over and eat some corn and i had a pretty good shot on her too but like i said earlier you know i mean it's it's like the size of a dog i'd get enough meat off her as i would a rabbit i mean yeah it'd be great i'd kill a deer and everything but once you like got down to it i would have enough meat for like three meals and that's not even worth shooting a doe i mean like i'm not even kidding those deer were like the size of sheba guys and once again the older mother doe she she never really came even close like she wasn't even paying attention to the corn or anything she just kept on walking at a distance but then i mean besides that just nothing else really happened i was hoping you know that maybe another doe or maybe a buck would come around because i have been getting pictures of random bucks like nothing giant but just like a good good six and i mean i'd love to shoot a good six right now but it just he just never came so i'm all in guys i'm ready to shoot a buck I'm ready to even shoot a doe, but it's just, it's really hard to shoot a deer that doesn't come, you know, 
in range. So as of right now, that is our problem, which is a pretty big problem in hunting. You know the deer here, they just don't come out when you're hunting. That's called hunting. That's exactly what it is. It's called hunting. You can't go hunting every time and expect to kill something. But there is one thing right now that's gonna happen. As of right now, I've actually gotta go to church. That's the only reason I'm leaving right now. But I'll tell you what, I believe tomorrow evening after school, I'm gonna come back out here, guys. So this video is gonna be one morning hunt, which is right now. And then, you know, right now, as you're about to see, it's gonna carry on with an evening hunt. And hopefully we can put the smack down on a big doe. So that's what we're aiming for. Let's go, guys. See you tomorrow. Okay, guys, it turns out the hunt's not over yet. Okay, maybe it is. They just ran away. Okay, yeah, they definitely ran away. But, I mean, I was just heading back to the house. I was walking through this field, looked over, and boom. There was three does standing there. I mean, it's not really like I could have stalked them with my bow or anything, but it's still pretty cool, you know, just seeing does like this. Which, right now, I can actually say that a doe is sort of my primary target right now. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'd love to take a buck, but I'm just gonna let you know, if I see a good doe in range... I'm definitely going to take her too. The next day. Okay, guys, I'm back in the stand. It's actually morning time again, so we are hunting the a.m. time. We're in the same spot as before. We got a little bit of corn put out right there, you know, just so they'll come back and be happy. Last time I was here, there really wasn't any food at all in the pile, and a lot of those bigger does didn't have any incentive to, you know, actually come over the fence. But today, I got some corn out, which will hopefully bring them on closer and over to the fence to the corn pile. But anyways, guys, right there, there, I've spotted our first animal. We have a gray squirrel. Let's, let's get it, boys. Da, da, da. So today, I'm totally ready to kill a deer. And well, you know, here he came. This was a small doe, I will say that. You know how like earlier in the video, which was actually a few days ago, but what it was is how I seen like a mom doe, which is a pretty good sized doe, and then like a fawn that I said was about the size of the dog. Well actually guys, that right there is the dog sized deer that I originally saw. And I didn't really want to shoot it today just cause you know, just like last video how I said, it's honestly, well, it's not exactly a big deer, okay? But anyways, for a second there, I was actually, you know, sort of thinking about shooting it just because, you know, hey, if it's brown, it's down. And listen, those are some dang good tenderloins. Or do deer even have tenderloins? I don't know. But anyways, I didn't shoot the deer just yet, you know. I gave her a little bit of time. I was thinking that, you know, maybe the big mama doe would be coming in behind her because I did thought I heard something back there, but I guess it just maybe turned out to maybe be a squirrel because the big mama doe never came but what that actually means is that that was a yearling doe okay and then there was a big mama doe now what that means that they have officially split up that means that like the rut has definitely occurred and that big mama doe has you know done came in estrus and you know done her thing usually whenever a doe like goes in the rut sort of if that's how you say it but whenever a doe's like ready to be bred the little fawn doe which is the yearling that's when they split up so what this told me today is that since the last time I went hunting and today the that doe has like been in the rut and like the rut had happened because those two have split up which now means that that little yearling doe that I thought was still with her mom that's no longer the case they're not with their mom anymore she's completely on her own which today after that after I figured out that she is 100% independent I have decided I'm going to come back very soon if I see that doe again I'm gonna shoot her. Like, I'm not even kidding, guys. I know, it's a small doe, but listen, people. I'm a pretty hungry boy. And not to mention, deer season is ticking down very fast. But anyways, people, that's what I've decided today. Right now, I've decided I'm on, you know, I'm going to come back fairly soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe two days from now, maybe three days from now. But I'm just going to let you know, guys. Like, if I see that deer again, I'm going to I'm gonna put that little, uh, I'm going to put that little arrow right there. That little eastern, what do you call them? Eastern axis. I'm going to put it straight through her lungs. That's the plan. And even though if I do kill that doe, it's not a bad thing at all. Because listen, I still have my buck tag. And we can hunt the rest of the season, what is left of it, and try to get Bucky or a really nice buck. So to be completely honest, people, the next deer hunting video you guys see, it sh we should have a down deer. I will say that. The next deer hunting video we have, we should have a down deer in the video for sure. That's, that's honestly the big time plan. But anyways, people, I mean, the hunt for today's over. Like, it's straight up, it's lunchtime. I'm a, I'm a hungry little hungry boy right now. I'm going to go inside, like I said, multiple times. Honestly, probably preheat the oven to 375 and put me four corn dogs in for 18 minutes. Like, that's the straight truth, okay? But anyways, people, I'll let you go. If you want to check out some dope merch, it'll be on kindlegrade1.com slash shop. But besides that, hey, I'll see you later, my dudes. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up, down low.
If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to KennelGray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.